All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Sean the Great, and I'm back, and I have a request to fulfill today. So I got a request on YouTube on my very first Eternum video, and the comment in the request is from Leon, and he said, hey, can you do a video on your lock screen like how you said it and everything? Thanks so much. I love your videos. Well, thanks, Liam. I mean, Leon. Sorry. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, th thanks so much for loving my videos and everything. And so, if you guys didn't see my lock screen in the Eternum video, it's this. So, it's this. It's changed a bit since then. I've changed it up. But I'll go ahead and show you exactly how I have everything set up. So, you're going to need uh, three things. Oh, yeah, and, and in this video, I have uh, if found, the tweak if found. So, that's going to be in my upcoming top five uh, tweaks of the week video. So, go ahead and check that out when it does come out. So you're going to need to add one repo for this, and it's going to be the repo is going to be repo.winningsword.net. So I'll go ahead and add that, and I'll show you. I already have it though. I'll just type it in for anyone that didn't see repo.winningsword.net. It's also going to be in the description if you want to copy paste it and everything. So that is the repo. So go ahead, like, take a good look at it, and now I'll go ahead and cancel. And uh, that's it. That's all. That's the only thing you're going to need. You're going to need Groovy lock, Gro the Groovy lock, and you may need the Groovy API. I don't know. I forget what the Groovy API. Yeah, you're going to need Groovy API. So if you go to install Groovy lock, it automatically installs Groovy API. So you're going to be fine with for that. And uh, yeah, you're also going to need Lockliff. I'll show you that. That the, these both are Groovy lock and Lockliff. Both are free, so you should have no trouble with that. So Lockliff. There you go. That's lock with, and this is in the default big boss repo. So it's uh, it's just the unlock animation that I have going. So yeah. So I'll go ahead and show you guys their settings panes, and then I'll show you my actual lock screen now and uh, before. So this is the lock lift setting pane. You have you can enable it. There's an unlock sound. There's a use. You can use the tick animation, or you can just ignore the animation altogether. There's the shine animation, like in the slide to unlock animation. And you can have faster animations. So with faster animations, I'll go ahead and show you guys right now. So with faster animations, this is what it looks like. It's pretty fast, it unlocks your phone nice. And with slow animations, this is what it looks like. So it's actually really pretty slow. I'm used to the fast animations, so I keep that on. So uh, you can uh, change the uh, idle color, so when it's waiting for your fingerprint, and the scanning color when it's actually scanning your fingerprint. So I set both of mine to actually match my lock screen. You can set it to vibrate and shake the fingerprint if it receives a wrong fingerprint. All right, that's uh, that's lock lift, and the other one is groovy lock that you're going to need. So groovy lock was right here actually. So uh, it's simple. You can you're gonna have to hide the bat lock screen clock, and you're going to need the cataracts dot theme, and you have to have it enabled, and you don't have to respring for changes. So that's actually pretty good. So cataracts.theme is in the sword.net repo. So if you go ahead and search up cataracts, there you go. And it is for iPad too, and it's supported on iOS 8, which is actually awesome. So cataracts, default cataracts is, is what looks like that. You can have a blur on it like I do. And uh, yeah. And it slides up for notifications and everything, so it's actually very nice. So if I send myself a text message, so let's go into my text messages, hopefully I don't have anything embarrassing up. So yeah I do, of course I do. So go ahead, say hi, send, lock, there you go, let's go. I'm gonna open it up and I'll try and make sure to see, so you guys can see the animation. There you go, it just slides up, you're all smooth like, and then you can reply or you can slide to reply or you can go like that. And that's pretty simple so yeah that's pretty much it so uh, cataracts so to optimize cataracts and to position it you're going to have to need i file or uh, fills up so either one works actually but I prefer i file to edit things and fills up to put in things to folders I don't know why it, it's just different for me so let's go all the way back no matter what folder you're in just go all the way back until you can't go by farther back anymore scroll down until you see var tap on var Scroll down until you see mobile, click on mobile, then go down into, I think it's library, yep, library, and you go until you see groovy lock, click on groovy lock, and you should have cataracts.theme, click on cataracts.theme, and what's this, 
Uh, oh yeah, I added I added that in. Anyways, so cataracts.theme, what you're going to need to go in and change is so the style.css is for positioning. So I'm an iPhone. I'm on an iPhone 6 running iPhone 6 plus resolution. So for that to be centered the way it is on mine, you're going to need to set the width and the body width set to 410 pixels, and you have to have the div.bg background size set to 375. So on a default iPhone 6, I know the measuring is uh, 375 pixels for both, for both the width and the background size. So for it to be centered, so it actually works pretty well. And for uh, iPhone 6 Plus, just take 1080, which that's the resolution. So 1080 and divide it by two, and put those measurements in there. So you can play around with the measurements to put it on, uh, put it anywhere you want. And that's pretty much it. And for the date, you can either do it here or there's another way to do it. So in div date, you can set the display to yes, and that'll it'll show the date at the bottom like it does right now. I'll show you, like it does at the very bottom of the time, all tiny like. So yeah, but you can do that in style.css while you're there, or you can go into options.javascript or js. So you can have 24 hour time set. And if you have, oh yeah, I forgot to mention when you, whenever you make any changes in .css or .js, you're going to have to respring. You're going to have to save, done, respring, and then it applies the changes. So yeah, so uh, allows the widget to move up when notifications are present. So that's notification support. So you can set these to true or false as you wish. You can set the spacing between the widget and the top of your screen. Uh, default is 160. So I have show background color behind the widget. Default is transparent, so you can set transparent or you can set it to a specific color you want. So uh, for color information, go to colorpicker.com and you can f and then you type in the hex code for that color in parentheses. And that's pretty much it. You can change the background color opacity, so how uh, how dark you want the color to be in the back. And uh, the blur radius I have set to five or 20 25 is the default. But uh, yeah, that's it. And I think that it showed shadow under the widgets. That's what I have. The default is false. I changed mine to true. Uh, background blur. Default is false. The option is buggy. You just have blur on and make time to create the blur every so often. So if you if you've noticed when I unlock my when I uh, come up with my phone, it doesn't show up and then it shows up with the blur. So that's pretty much it. So I have background enabled. I have blur enabled, and I have my blur set to five, and I have the background shadow enabled. So that's pretty much exactly what I have before. Like before, I didn't play around in options.js. I just showed up with the date and I repositioned my clock, and that's it. And I programmed my uh, I programmed Locklyph to have uh, faster animations and stuff like that, along with the shimmer effect and the nice uh, the nice fast unlock animations and the colors to match my background. So you can go ahead play with your settings a bit and uh, just play around with them. You should be able to figure these out. If you do have any problems, go ahead and contact me. You can either email me or you can uh, go ahead and uh, comment on my on this video down below. I'll check the videos every hour or so. So if I don't respond soon, just, uh, just wait a bit and uh, you can check back. But the fastest way for me to reply to you is in my Gmail. So if you do Gmail me, then go ahead and, uh, and I'll be able to respond to you instantly if I do have Wi-Fi or my data on. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, tune in next time. So next video is going up tomorrow and that's Friday for my top five tweaks of the week. So check those out. They're all amazing tweaks. I've already recorded it. I have a couple of tweaks to go and then I'll edit it and put it together and uh, with some nice music in the background along with music in the background of this. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in next time and I'll go ahead and uh, shut up now. See ya.